Hi, third graders. This story is called Bridges and goes along with our lesson four story, Pops Bridge. This one is by Matthew Danzeries, and this is an informational text. As we know, an informational text gives us factual information about a topic. Something we want to keep in mind as we're reading, a diagram is a drawing that shows how something works. Bridges help people get from place to place. They join communities. They stretch across waterways and the swirling tide. They take us over roadways and landforms. People have been building bridges for thousands of years. They think about how long the bridge must be. They think about what the bridge will cost. Then they decide what kind of bridge to build. The first kind of bridge we're going to learn about today is called an arch bridge. An arch bridge uses sturdy curved structures called arches. The arches rest on strong supports called abutments. Abutments are set firmly in the solid ground below the water. The arch bridge shown here is the Bayonne Bridge, which goes from New Jersey to New York. Workers finished building it in 1931. The next kind of bridge we're going to learn about is a beam bridge. The beam bridge is the simplest kind of bridge for a crew to build. It costs the least, too. A beam bridge has a beam. It lies across supports called piers. The piers must be close enough together to give the beam strength. That way, the roadway won't bend or sag too much when traffic crosses it. Each span of a beam bridge is usually less than 250 feet long. At the bottom right, we can see a picture of a beam bridge this is Florida's Rickenbacker Causeway Bridge, and it connects the city of Miami to the island of Key Biscayne. The last type of bridge we're going to learn about today is called a suspension bridge. A suspension bridge can stretch as far as 7,000 feet. That's more than a mile. On a suspension bridge, the roadway hangs from cables. The cables rest on top of towers. At each end of the bridge, an anchorage holds the cables in place. So we can see from this diagram, here we have our anchorage, and then over here we have our tower. Here's the roadway where the vehicles are, and then we've got in between the towers, we have the cable. Building bridges. A large crew of workers builds most bridges. The work is dangerous. We saw that in our story this week. Workers wear harnesses to stay safe when they are balancing up high. Strong winds and foggy weather make the work even more dangerous. Builders cling to the bridge. When at last the work is done, excitement grips everyone. A ceremony may be held to celebrate. St. John's Bridge in Portland, Oregon is a suspension bridge. When the fog is heavy, the bridge practically disappears. I hope you enjoyed learning about three different types of bridges today, and I will see you next time. Bye!